One of the key features we want to demonstrate with this sample site is how a website's existing users who already have accounts can be upgraded to OpenID easily. So uh, in this case, we have users, they've been logging in this website for years using their traditional email address and their password. So the person's used to coming in, filling this in, or their web browser already fills it in, and they just go ahead and click sign in. Now, one of the days when they come here, they, when they click to sign in, they're actually prone to this option saying, you know, hey, the website wants to improve their security, wants to verify their email address. And when the user goes ahead and clicks that, assuming they don't skip it, assuming they click it, it does start this OpenID dance with Yahoo, where Yahoo gets users' permission to verify their email address. User goes ahead and clicks agree. And once they've done that, their account is now unquote upgraded to use OpenID. So if the user signs out and they come back to this website again in the future, they're now going to actually see the option to log in with their Yahoo account. Now they may need to be trained once or twice. They might still go ahead and enter their email address, you know, here. Um, but if they do, we'll continue to educate them that the simplest option for them to log in is simply to click the Yahoo button. And if they do that, Yahoo will determine that they've previously confirmed they want to visit this site, and they'll immediately be connected back into the site. Now, uh, some users have said after you know they've been upgraded, they still might have some you know, learning process. They may, for example, try to log in still with their email address and that previous password that they use, especially if they go to a, another computer. But again, the, the website will detect all these types of situations and you know, train the user on uh, the process of choosing this tab called Connect With Any Account and clicking the Yahoo Mail button. And uh, based on our tests, we find that users only need this training once or twice to be very comfortable with logging in via this mechanism.